How do we feel about this prediction of a bear market coming? This cycle going into a presidential season is actually one of the worst quarters. To know when the market is going to turn around, please keep your eyes on the London market because Europe is going to get hit a lot harder. So look at the FTSE, look at CEC. When they start to uptick, that's when you know like the bear market is going to end. Because so if Europe gets it, has a worse recession than us, we'll go up before they do. But to know when it's over, when the FTSE and the CAC begins to uptick and stays above that recession level, that's when we know we're in the clear. So until the Dow falls, we're not done completely. Um, we were up today, but Mondays and Fridays, the market has the highest probability of going up. If we go up Tuesday and Wednesday, that'd be a very great sign, but more than likely we're, we're not. We're probably going to fall tomorrow. What other assets can go down 90%? Ethereum. Who is Ethereum's biggest competitor? Not the coin. What entities are they up against? Now, they do have a hell of a market maker and protection mechanism in JP Morgan. I'm going to keep saying that. Hell of a protection mechanism, right? Who is their biggest competitor? And this won't happen for, what year is it? Not until probably 26 or 27 or something like that. Hedge funds are basically saying, you're either going to allow us to have a partnership or strategic alliances together, or you may not make it. Yes, we're close to a recession, but here's the thing. What people don't normally tell you is incredible fortunes are made during a recession. The bad part is suicide rates go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence goes up. Mm -hmm. Child abuse goes up. Suicide rates go up. Crime, period. Crime, absolutely. So if you're not helping the people and feed the wolves, you may be prey. But if we hit a recession, the man in here, your woman, mom, grandma, doesn't give a fuck that it's a recession. You have to pay bills. Right? No one loves men unconditionally. <laughs> right? <laughs> Unless you provide. And I know some of you going to be like, no, that's not true. Fellas. I make a few calls, man. Hold on. Right? <laughs> so when this recession comes, you have to be prepared. The only real advantage that we have as retail investors is to be able to hold longer than them. So even when a hedge fund sells on a quarterly, and we've talked about wellwisdom.com, holdingschannel.com, right? But when these hedge funds are selling on a three-month cycle, that's because that's the business that they're in and clients need immediate results. Like very rarely will you see a client stay with the fund for 15 years anymore. That That's not happening these days, right? What do you see the next trends are going to be in these next 10 years? If you say it's transparency, but like, what's the, what is coming things? up? Um, automation is going to be really big. So when this next recession happens in 2024, 2025, automation will be even bigger. That's what the Tesla thing. That's Cli what yeah. At, at scale, climate tech, um, our oceans, water, fucked up. Like we need to go into industries that will be able to take salt water out of the ocean and then transfer it into fresh water. Because if you look, most of our water supplies for any municipality, mm -hmm. plastics are high, which has increased testosterone, sperm levels are down because we're ingesting a lot of poison because our waterways have been poisoned for so long. That's why you see the Beyond Meat and all that popping up. Climate tech is going to produce probably 80 or 90 trillionaires over the next 70 years. Mm -hmm.